Hello and welcome back to Splatoon 2 in the Octo Expansion. I'm Blue Toad and let's go back into just cruising. Rad Ride Station, because we have another weapon to do with it. And then we can just keep moving on because there's so many, so many, so there's a lot of extra weapons in this apparently. But that's fine because it means I get to just talk about random things or just fumble over my words. You know, that, that, that ha also happens. And then I also rage about knockback because that just, <laughs> that just happens. I have to bring that up again. I'm sorry, I had to. Uh, anyway, let's get onto that, please. Onto the tower. And let's -a go. Also have curling bombs, which isn't exactly helpful for this. I wouldn't say that it's gonna be extremely helpful. But I don't know, I don't know, I could be wrong. Just gonna throw them out there. See what happens. Ow, 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 owie, owie. You have a shotgun thing. What's it called? Umbrella. But I have a... What's it called? What the, what's this weapon type called? I for, for some reason I forget. Every... I just forget. <laughs> what happened to me? Also, ink is just not existent. I'm just gonna bowler and explode. Ow. It's a blaster. That's the one. I actually remembered something. It's crazy. That was worth it. I would say... Please. Knockback? I have... I have problems with knockback. Ah! Please, you gotta be kidding me. Ink. Please. This could also be helpful to get back to the tower using the curling bombs, maybe. Oh my goodness, though. This is kind of crazy. As a level. It's very hit or miss on how you go at this level, I'd say. Take that out. If I can take that one out, that would also be great. Like that. Also probably want to paint that area up there. Just so I have a little bit of control. Also, there's going to be a thing that drops, dro drops in on me. So I need to be ready for that. In three, two, one. Nope, nothing so far. Just got to take you out if possible. Thank you. That one's annoying, so... Glad I got that taken care of. Okay, knockback. Ruin me. Ruin me, knockback. I'm expecting you. Thank you. I think that's clear. How is that so smooth? Smooth. I, I had to say it, didn't I? Oh, auto bomb, really? And there goes the tower. It's just that one at the end that just is super in place to just ruin everything. Also, hang on, when did you get there? Please? Please. Please, game. Never mind, okay, that works. Fine. Ah! Just losing my mind sometimes. I didn't need it anyway. I've already beat the in Agent 3, so I don't need my mind anymore. Okay. Whack 8 ball sta station. Station? I sounded- I just- I, I don't know where the accent came from. It just was there, all of a sudden. That shows how tired I am, it's just random accent. Splushomatic, let's go. Also, I've... Just- It's- there's- the, the thing's happening again where I'm pl the, the Splatoon story modes break my voice, so that's also happening. This does not have a long range. Like, at all. But it's fine. I'll deal with it. And I also have to go back through this area, don't I? It's fine. Just gonna take out things as much as possible early. I'm not gonna go too crazy, though. Also, is that a sponge-like type, type, type block? I think it is. But it's more of a 
when you're going through with the 8-ball, it actually means something. Whereas right now, it doesn't really mean anything, so... Ow, why are you doing this to me? Here, take this. There we go. Okay, some burst bombs. Rapid fire. That is a lot of fun. I might grab that again. Even though I probably won't use it at all. This is such a short range weapon. <laughs> it's so crazy. How this can even function. I don't know where I want to rotate this to. Probably that way. So now we can go this way and get a key, I think, is the goal. It's been a little bit since I last came through here, so I don't know. Everything. If I knew everything, that'd be a lot easier for me. Probably? Maybe. I feel like I'm slightly better at the game after doing the Inner Agent 3. Just slightly. I still make plenty of mistakes. That's my downfall, is I make so many mistakes. <laughs> I'm good at video games, also good at making mistakes. That's just gonna be my thing forever, apparently. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's go ahead and turn this. That way. And keep going. Do I need to follow that, or do I need to actually go around? I think I need to go around this way. Let's do that. And let's keep going. <laughs> Needs to be patient though with this platform. Do 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 do. I love the design of the eight ball stages with their like ah uh, activator things and launches and all that. And the music. There's something about the eight ball levels which is really well thought out. Also, there's one enemy left on this platform here, but I think I'm just gonna go for it. No! There it goes. Good thing there's a checkpoint there. I struggled with that last time I came through here as well. With this platform. You really just have to go for it though. At the right time though. Like that. But I think that's everything in the level. So let's just go. With my hair on fire and everything. Very nice. The only thing I regret about the playing through the Splatoon 3 story mode for YouTube was the character basically being the same design as Agent 3. I, I think I should have had a different design, but I like that design for just my regular player look, which is why I did it that way. If I could go back though and like redo Splatoon 3 for whatever reason, I would probably just do a different character look for it, even though I think I did a pretty good job of Splatoon 3. Ah, please. Please, oh my goodness. This brush is not great for co close combat with this enemy. This one enemy. It's not great for close combat in general, apparently. Even though it should be. I just keep getting hit by everything and not hitting my enemies. That was my own fault. I should have waited. It's fine. You win some and you lose some. This is not the ideal weapon for this level. Except if you use the auto bomb, apparently. It makes things a little bit more, more manageable. So I'd recommend, uh, use your sub-weapon. It's all good. I really want to play Super Paper Mario again. I've, I don't know why, why I've been thinking about it recently, but I've been thinking about it. I think it's because of the music at the end of my videos normally, or how it's been normally. I don't know if I'm going to change it or not. But it's made me really want to play that game again. It has a good... It's just, just such a good game. And I'm surprised it's not on the Switch yet. As of recording this video, but... Uh, I don't know. It'd just be good to play it again. On the Switch, or on the Wii. 
I mean, it would work really... It, I think it would work really well on the Switch. It's kind of that open... It has that open world feel, which is interesting because it's very... It's very much a linear kind of game. But it has, like, the open world Mario feel, which I've... I kind of want a game that kind of does that just to the fullest. Maybe one day. But anyway, let's just keep going through this level. Making your way through. There's a lot of games that I've played that I want to re definitely re redo at some point. Mostly the ones I did earliest in my channel. I have redone some of them already. Just a few. And I've done a really good job of redoing them as well. Also, I like the feel of just playing through this casually like this, and just talking about random things. I haven't done this since Luigi Galaxy, which is another another good one, I, I feel like. It's just me ra t talking randomly like this. Oh, don't fall off. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Send it on its way. Let's keep going. Why did it fall off? Oh, because I turned the thing too early. That makes sense. I f I f I f I f for some reason, I didn't think about that. Even though I definitely should have. Hang on, don't do that yet. It's fine. Okay. Get onto the rails. Or in between the rails. Okay, wait for that, and then go. Just take your time. This is chill. We're chill. We're chill. We're chillin'. Isn't that the name of the station or something? I can't remember. I feel like it's something like that. But I really don't remember. I like the background stuff down there. The, the random lights like that look really cool. From this distance. It plays, it plays its cards really well. It plays to itself really well. Very nice. Let's see if I can make it through here without dying because I, if I do die... I'm out of life, so... Gonna push this into position to start off. And then... Go! Very nice. Please. Please. Stop getting stuck on that sponge. It looks like you're going inside of the sponge, actually. But anyway. Just need to get this into the right position. And there we go. Oh, I'm so tired right now, <laughs> which is a shame because I, I want to do a lot more recording right now. Since I have like 50 something videos I want to record. It's fine though, there's that station done. Also, this is probably the better way to look around, is just zoom in like that. By just pressing A once. I'm gonna take the bamboozler. Oh, this is another one of these levels. It's actually this level, isn't it? Interesting. I think I had trouble with this level. If I remember correctly. Okay, very nice. Good so far. Good timing on that. Okay. Gotta take it a bit slow, just to make sure I live longer. Hit that, hit that. Very nice. Okay. I have to really focus on this level because it is a little bit precise. Just a little bit. Not even halfway through all these things yet. Wow. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It can kind of tap, but also, yeah. Oh, and if I fail, I have to go all the way back. That's annoying. It's gonna make this a little bit more difficult. I think I'm struggling slightly on holding down the button to shoot. 
while also trying to be ready for everything in terms of platforming. There's a lot of platforming in this level, which makes it feel very unique in its format. Because normally the rail levels where you shoot all the balloons is just that. But this one actually has platforming in it somewhat. Makes it very, it makes it stand out a lot more. Just don't die. Ow, no, don't fall. Why would you fall? Also, I think I'm not using the right stick to move my camera enough. I try to move my camera mainly with motion controls, which is probably not the way to do it. I occasionally move my camera with, um the right stick, but I need to probably use the right stick more than I do. And some people actually turn off the motion controls and just shoot with uh, right stick only, which is interesting. Because I guess I could be more precise in some scenarios, but also it's really not my style. Because I like the motion controls for a little bit more movement without having to actually move the controller. Gonna hold on for a second, please. Thank you. Because you can kind of shoot behind you, except I'm not doing a good job of that. That end bit is difficult, especially with this weapon. I don't think I'd recommend Bamboozler for this level. Although I might have an idea of how you're supposed to actually do this. Because it might want you to actually use the uh, splat bombs on the what's it called things they have to dodge to make it make it explode instantly maybe I'm not sure or not that might be what it wants also I feel like the range of the bamboozler isn't perfect for this level maybe I should just be patient you know Maybe. Or I could just fall off because I unpressed the button too early. I still struggle with this level. It's just like old times. I still have another weapon to do with this level, still. How did that work? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, I'm dead. I really don't know how you're supposed to hit that with what little time you have. I think this is actually probably good training for the bamboozler though. Quite possibly so you get better at aiming precisely with it, which is what it's good at, so. I mean, if you can get it to work, that is. That's better. I was really struggling with that though. Just gonna jump over to make sure I don't hit that. Don't have much time to hit that, but that's okay. Same with those. Same with this. Same with that. I don't know how I'm still alive. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was close. That is difficult with that weapon. Very difficult. 
Well, it's done now, though. So let's go ahead and go back in, because we still have to do the other weapon for this, which should be a lot easier because you don't have to charge it. That's kind of the only thing that makes the level different in some of the levels, where you have to ride the rails and shoot all the targets. Is just the different weapon types. But even then, it's still basically the same. And I guess also ink consumption is something to keep in mind with the different weapon variants. And sh shot power, I guess, as well. But that shouldn't be as much of a problem with this weapon. nice. This is all- this definitely feels a lot easier with this weapon, because I don't have to worry about hitting multiple targets that are standing on top of each other as much, or hitting them before I have a- don't have a chance to hit them again. And there we go, one one try, I guess. Because it's just that much easier with a weapon like that than it is with a charging weapon with which has short range. Pretty short range at least. Uh so that's that one done. Let's head up here then. Get to fell and unfell things. Um, I guess I'll take the spike charger and burst bomb. See how that goes. This would have been a lot better to do these. Like, it would have been a lot... Like, it would have been really good to have the Octa expansion when Splatoon 2, or when it first came out, because then you could get all the benefits of it without having to actually worry about it not mattering that much. But I'm playing for fun, so... It just seems hard to get into a Splatoon game when it's way after it's release and the next one's coming out and all that. But it's still a good way to get into the next one, I guess, is playing the old ones. Depends on when it is, though. Ah, uh, do I want that? I guess I do. Get some extra CQ points to exchange for things that I just said that I don't need. It's fine. It's it's a compulsive. It's it's, it's it's compulsive. I have to get all the collectible stuff. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can't shoot me apparently, for some reason. Please, thank you. No, 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 no. It's fine. 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 Just need to recover some ink. Better than this. Thank you. It's one, two, and three. Nice. When the charger just works just right, it's a good thing. It's a good feeling. Please hit that. Please don't do this to me. Okay, let's go and get the thing to unfurl to get rid of these enemies. Why did that not work? I don't know. Probably because this enemy is being annoying. There we go, that's better. Just need to keep it unfurled before it does anything that I don't want it to. See key points? Let's go. Use some burst bombs, maybe. If I have them charged up enough. Okay, this bit's gonna be interesting. Let's see how we go through here. Hang on, 
hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. I just need to keep moving, probably. It's fine, 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 fine. Where am I going? There. Up, 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 and let's get rid of you. Very nice. That was pretty good. I just got completely drawn into the game for a second there because of... <laughs> it really needs a little bit of focus for this level. Fur real reels. Good, good title. Good title. Okay, let's head back in because we need to do it with the roller now. That seems like an interesting level for the roller. I think the charger is probably easier than the roller is going to be. Maybe? Depends on how I use it though. If I just do regular throws, horizontal throws, it should be fine. And this is just a regular splat roller as well, so it's not sl it's not completely slow. There are much slower weapons for this. Okay, nice. Please hit that, thank you. Ah, don't hit me. Just gonna go through. Casually. Gotta ignore the enemies this time. I really don't need the CQ points as much as I'm making it seem somewhat. Also, why did that not work? Why did that not work? Ah! Pain. It's fine, I have a roller. A roller makes everything better. When I'm right next to an enemy like that. Please hit that, thank you. I think this will probably work out better over here as well, possibly. Good. Not quite great. Please. Nope. Okay. That's the way it's going to be. Nope. Why? There we go. No, come on back. Needs more power, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that. I should be able to get through here quite quickly. Somewhat. The boxes really don't give you much CQ points. Oh, please. You need to be careful here. The spread on this brush or thing isn't great for hitting things. But it's fine. I'm fine. And everything's fine. Goodbye. Well, that's that level done. Mwah. I forgot that that's the thing I did. That's kind of the interesting thing about Splatoon 3 as well, with the end of the level. Because it has, like, a few zapfish, but then after that, it doesn't have them anymore. Which I thought was a little bit strange for it to change like that. Also, I did both of those brushes for some reason. Why did I do that? Oh, that's probably the one one of the ones I did already. Yeah, it's got the... It's, it's, I remember doing the one with that mem cake, so yeah. Fat Spot Station. I didn't see what it wants me to do, but that's fine. Since whenever I read what I'm supposed to do before going into it. I just do the thing and get out of there. This seems fine. I'll take the L3 nozzle nose. Let's see how this goes. Oh, is this, um... This seems very familiar. No, it's not what I was thinking of. Also, this is an interesting weapon because it takes a... need to keep pressing a button. I never remember what weapon does what until I'm actually using it. It's strong, strong power though. Please don't die. Please, thank you. I'm glad that I that worked out so well. It was a bit of a gamble. Oh, it's this level. Interesting. Also, now would be a great time to have that one rail type thing that I mentioned in one of the previous videos. It's fine. Okay, let's grab that. Just gonna take you out, take out everything on top first. Please. I don't even need to worry about my specials too much. Just gonna drop those all down there. And maybe get rid of you. I think this is, I like this level from memory. 
if it is the video level I'm thinking about. That worked out really well. Okay, I was expecting to get the sting... Stingray? Stinger. To work like that. It just kind of worked though, so that's good. Also, Splashdown is interesting. Goodbye! Very nice. Let's head back up again. Try and use the other one, effectively. Oh, it actually just keeps respawning. Also, I fell! I've fallen! Hello. Gonna take you out. It's all good. This isn't exactly a great weapon for covering the ground, but it is good for fighting. Okay, good. Let's head up. Since this will just take us up basically all the way. I don't know how I'm supposed to make that jump. Also, that jump. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculousness. Uh, I might take this again, try and get the jump to work this time. You can kind of jump off, off of that a lot more than I thought you could. It works really well. And goodbye. I think there's also a tentahook, tentacook thing that I need to get though. If I can get there, which I might actually have to do a little bit of magic for. Where is it? Where is the tentacook? Is that it? No. I can't see where it is. Oh, there it is. I was hoping to actually use the special for this. But I don't think that's going to work now. It's too fast. Too fast and too much splat bombs left behind it. Okay, there we go. Let's get out of here. Very nice. I love that. It's so cool to do that. You don't get to do that enough, where you launch yourself and then use your... Um... Splashdown. The Splashdown is underused. It's very well used in one of the levels in Splashdown 3, though. Very well used. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.